be cool for Halloween. And when it is dark and you turn them on, they really, really look neat. I wish I could show you guys how they look in the dark. Maybe I'll take a picture and post it. But um, there's four of them, and these are from the 99 cent store. Now, when you first go in there and you start looking through stuff, these kind of appear to just be boring. They're in piles, they're not really displayed, and there's none turned on, and you they are all just sitting like this. So you're seeing all these crazy cool other decorations that just capture your attention and looks, you know, like creepy and scary, and then you just you run into these. And everything that's let, let me let you know right now, everything is like priced. 199 149 129 but there's a big giant sign that we did not see the first time that says everything Halloween is 99 cents so don't be fooled by that get when you go to check out everything will check out at 99 cents so here's what they look like wrapped up and then to get them to work there is actually some instructions you, you have to take all all this you have to take all the plastic cellophane wrap off you open up the little battery pack and the batteries are individually wrapped in plastic so you have to take the plastic off of the batteries put them back in and then you turn on the switch on the side there's a little switch right here and it turns the picture on so i'm going to show you what all four of them look like so you know when you get there what you're looking for which one you want which ones you don't want so there's this one it's kind of it's kind of eerie looking. It's got a haunted house, a couple jack-o'-lanterns, and when you turn it on, it looks like that. Isn't that so cool for a dollar? And it is actual, I don't know if you can tell, but it is actual like a canvas painting. It's not a, it's probably a printed one, but it's, it still looks really cool in my hallway. I'm going to hang them in my hallway, and it's really dark in my hallway, so the light's flickering kind of orange. I think it's going to look really, really cool. So there's that one, there's number one. And then number two will be the one I already showed you, but in case you really missed it or weren't paying attention. This one, the boys love this one because they're still obsessed with the jack-o'-lanterns. There's spider web, bats, all the creepy Halloween stuff. And then there it is off. Looks so boring off, right? <laughs> Super cool, and that's how thick they are. And they're about they're pretty good size. I think if you got all four of them and put them on your wall for four bucks, you have like your whole wall decorated. Super cool. So there's that one. And then also this one is really cool. This one is one of my favorites. It is a graveyard, like a mirrored graveyard. And they're all the same size. They're all made the same. So they're, they don't look odd if you have all four of them. They'll look really cool, like lined up or staggered next to each other. And here's this one off. So on, off. But this one in the dark is like the coolest one because the lights are like flickering behind the tombstones. It really looks like a scene. It's pretty cool. So if I can take a picture and post it somehow, I'll show you guys my wall after it's done. But remember to please like and subscribe. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done in this video. I'm thinking it's gonna take me three 15 minute videos to show you guys because if I could show you the view of everything I really have a lot to show you guys and it's selling out really really fast I've gone three times this weekend and every time I go the pile is getting less and less I'm just trying to get these filmed really quick so you can get in there and get these things before they're gone because they're really going quick really quick here is the final one here it is off on isn't that so cool for a dollar, I can't even believe. First of all, they're marked $1.99, and I think someone could pay like five to ten dollars, or even more, in a home goods store. And look at that! It was a dollar. You could even give these as Halloween gifts to someone. Maybe they just moved in a house. Maybe they have no decorations. This makes a big impact because it's big. It takes up space. And if you were to buy them one or two, or even all four, for four bucks, one dollar, however many you get, it's really, really cool. So. There's that one again. I definitely, these are like my, one of my favorite things so far and this is the last thing I have purchased from the dollar store because they were so boring and you couldn't get them to light up and I was like, well, um, there's so many other way cooler spooky Halloween stuff but these, I had to put these first because I was I was embarrassed that I slept on these and didn't, didn't get them first off. So there's those. Next, I'm going to move on to 
Um, I'm gonna kind of go through and show you some comparisons of stuff I found at the Dollar Tree versus the 99 cent store. Now, both stores, everything is a dollar, so keep that in mind, a dollar for everything that I'm gonna show you. Nothing rang up any other price, nothing was purchased anywhere but a dollar store, okay? So I'm gonna show you the first major difference I saw was the Dollar Tree things I tend to define were a little more cutesy, and that kind of stuff I use kind of in my kitchen. So I do a witch kitchen, I think I've mentioned that before, and these are sparkly signs. I actually seen these on somebody else's Dollar Tree haul, and I, the, when I saw these, I had only had the purple one, and I didn't even know there was a green one until I watched her video. So this one says, welcome my pretties, and then this one says the witch is in and there is one more there's an orange one but i just didn't i didn't really want the orange one because i kind of stick more towards purple and the green um so those are from the dollar tree these also are going in my kitchen i have a pot shelf up above my um there's kind of like shelving up above all my cabinets so there's room for stuff like this i have like big pots and different things uh decorated in my paris theme that it's normally coffee shop paris theme so I mean, I take that stuff all down and throughout the holidays, I change it to whatever the holiday is. So I'm gonna try to find a way to display these cool brooms up there. I might even hang them from where I hang my aprons. So it looks like a real witch lives there. These were a dollar. And I did see these also at the um, 99 cent store, but they were longer and they were more for a costume, I wanna think. But you could use these for a little girl's costume. I mean, for my head. To my hip it's pretty big i want to say it's at least two and a half three feet long it doesn't say they're 21.65 inches long so that's that's pretty long so there's those and then also for my kitchen i picked up um a little witch hat it's just a little decoration now sometimes i put these outside i have a big pine tree in my front yard so i'll hang stuff like this because they come with a a string and I'll hang them for my trees or I'll put them in my bushes because they can kind of withstand the the sun and the weather so they're kind of cool too if you want to decorate outside with these but I plan on putting this up there on my pot shelf as well to kind of give it that whole witch kind of look um what else did we get I got also this sign now there was a few of these these ones just really help with my witch kitchen because like I have little bottles and I put like rice in them and uh, eyeballs and things that make it look like I have weird potions and stuff in my kitchen. So I like little things like this. If you can see there, all the different things it says. And there, I believe I have one more of these, but I can't quite locate it yet. And this sign is, again, it's pretty big for a dollar. And it's, it's just cardboard, but I'm gonna hang them up there um, by my windows, I think, or somewhere, I'll find a place for it. Um, also sticking to the kitchen kind of stuff, I wanted to show you guys um, these baskets we got. Now this one is a spider basket. You can use it to put chips in or snacks, you know, throughout the holiday season. Or if you're having a party, these are great, you know, to have on display. We actually are gonna dual purpose these because we're throwing a party for my son uh, in two weeks and it's gonna be a Spider-Man party and these are perfect for having out with all like red tablecloths. We're gonna put chips in there, our snacks for the kids. And I wanted to show you one thing really quick. The difference here is, now this one is from the 99 cent store. Okay, so it's same idea, right? But look at the size. This one is way smaller so we went ahead and bought them anyway because you know different stuff smaller can go in there next to the bigger one but I just want to let you know that if you want a big one the 99 cent store has the big one they come in purple and orange and we just got purple black we didn't get the orange one and then these also at the Dollar Tree came in purple and orange as well I just think they must have ordered a different size or maybe this one was available to them but anyways, there are the spider baskets, so we're gonna use these for our party. Axton has joined us. I knew it was only a matter of time before he got in on the Halloween fun, but uh, hopefully he doesn't destroy my display so I can move along quickly here. 
And another thing we picked up were these party goblets. I picked up four of these, but I only have two right here just to show you how they look. They're also pretty big. They came in different colors. And I thought, oh, these would be cute for drinking, you know, whatever. I'll put water in here or drinks, having a party on Halloween. So these are cool to serve up some drinks in. And then in comparison, these are the really cool ones I found at the 99 cent store. And I could only find two and I was searching in all the shelves. I'm gonna go to another one because these are, to me, these are just really, really cool. I just love the way they look and there's the skull holding it. And this is like a flute, a champagne flute, but you can serve whatever you want in there, any kind of little mixed drinks. And then here's the red one. And they're really, really pretty. I, was, I really have to go searching for more of these. I want at least four more of these just because they're my favorite. Anyway, those are the also, there's this, this picture is a big picture. It doesn't look as big in here or on camera as it really is. And this was at the 99 cent store. And I hope you're making a list so you can know what you're gonna find where. This is from the 99 cent store and it was a dollar. And we went directly after that to look around at the party stores because we're always just looking. They were selling these for like $6.99, $8.99. So a dollar you can get you can have different ones they have these in purple white all sorts of colors too and then Mommy, real quick let me show you this was from the dollar tree it's just a little pumpkin lantern axton actually picked this but i told you he likes everything that has to do with pumpkins so we got this for him don't know where we're gonna put it yet um these are also from the Dollar Tree. You can kind of see their packaging is purple, so it's a little bit easier for me to remember where I got things from. And uh, these spiders, I'm gonna put them on a, I'm gonna try to make my own Halloween wreath this year. I wanna make like a Friday the 13th one, uh, and then maybe another one for somebody else. And then here's some skeletons. So I got little things that are tiny that I could maybe attach to the wreath and make it kind of creepy looking. And Axton is walking around with my window cleans right now, but since he has those, I'm going to go ahead and show you these because I thought these are really cool. We also saw these at the party store for $10, okay? Now what this is, is a skull. No. No. And if you're having a party, you pour shots in these little tubes here and it holds it for you. So I got a red one and I got the purple one because that was like a freaking dollar. Even if I don't use it, it still looks really cool. And I'm sure I'll use it. I just think these are so awesome. I have to tell you guys, these for one dang dollar, they're really cool. And they had um, clear ones. I think they had green and then they had red. So I was like, oh, if they did two different kinds of drinks, you know, mixed into here, that'd be cool. That I would know which, which is which, you know, it's hard to keep track of things sometimes. Um, uh, so moving on from the party supplies so far, unless I forgot something. Oh wait, I did forget something. Um, they have these at the Dollar Tree. They're pretty big platters and they have these in multiple colors as well. I think purple, black, green, and maybe orange. I'm not sure, I forget, it's hard to keep track, but we picked up two of these, They're like purple platters with a spider on it. So when you serve your veggies or some sort of snack to everybody, you know, it just kind of helps create the the ambiance or the, I don't know, I just, I just like this stuff. I think I, I'm one of those people that would probably leave this out throughout the holiday, 